What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Visions, the two Z's. And it's about time. We're going to go ahead and start working on the setup. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Visions, with two Z's. So yeah, so today we're gonna start out with um, working on the front sound stage of the Acura. Um, I have a few minutes, I have about an hour and some change. I'm out here practice with um, my kids at Atlanta Drum Academy, so I got about an hour and 15 minutes, so what a better time than to go ahead, you know, let's go ahead and get this thing cracking. So I got the front door speakers, the, da um, the dash tweeters, and the center channel with me. And we're gonna just go ahead and just start knocking this thing out. Um, I know for the dash tweeters, I need an adapter, or I need to make like a type of adapter to hold the one inch tweeter into the mount. So I have, and I'll, I'll get into that later, but I don't know if I'm gonna have, have time to work on that today or not. So, but right now, we're gonna start with these doors. So basically the doors in the, in the MDX, the uh, second gen MDX, they, it's, they're pretty simple to take out. So you have, what? No. Say hi. Hey y'all. So, um, anyway, Desi Crew, Rihanna, go follow, uh, Rihanna, well, they, they got channels. Anyway, I'll, put them in, I'll link them in the description. So it's pretty easy to do. Uh, there's a plate right here that comes out. It's a little, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little clip right here. You clip that out, and there's two screws here. And then you pull this out off, and there are several screws behind here, Phillips head screws right here. And then once you do that, you just lift the door card off, and basically you have full access to it. So, no, we ain't waste no time. Let's just get to it. like any other um, door panel removal install whatever of course you got these little clips right here that you got to pull up pull out they were just giving me a little bit of a hard time i'm gonna go ahead pull it off and then i'm gonna get back to you when i once i get it off all right as you can see got it off and had to unplug these for the side view mirror and for all the other controls just push the little button comes right out but one thing I'm noticing, it has a good amount of insulation right here, so it's definitely good for sound deadening and stuff like that for the cabin budget. So here, here they are, the factory speakers, and let's just say they leave a little bit to be desired. But, um, you know, it's, it's factory. It's a good material, though, and we're nice rubber surround, and they have, like, a, a much smaller neodyme, and much smaller, but pretty efficient neodyme, um, and I'm 
pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Um, magnet. So let's just see. And I probably should have actually pulled my speakers over here. But I got those in the back. So. it I mean it's stupid like it says a two ohm speaker at 20 watts I mean it's stupid like plastic plastic cage I mean if I'm being honest it's kind of borderline it's, it's borderline hard if I'm being honest but let me go grab the replacement so here's the replacement Pioneer TSD 65 C's as you can see much 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 beefier okay hope you can see that but much 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 beefier metal metal diaphragm cage and all that so and to make this go even easier i picked up a set of um adapters so i don't have to cut the wires i can just plug basically plug and play try to keep this thing as simple as possible so the only thing i see that may be an issue is the fact that my mounting holes so it has three mount points here, and I did not bring my drift, which I actually meant to bring because I already knew this, but it's no problem. So what we're gonna have to end up doing properly, I'm gonna have to just kind of manhandle it and make my own screw holes. Make one, make one screw hole, and just kind of roll away from there. to make all my screws, which, which means we need strong, stronger screws. But yeah, so, but yeah, so that's basically the install of this. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this and work on the other door, and then we'll come back. I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you when I'm ready to do something different. So, be right back. All right, y'all, what's up? So the adapter has these slots that will kind of hold it fairly well. Um, when I get home, I'm gonna probably, um, when I get home, I'm probably gonna actually go back and take this back off and put and drive some screws long enough to go all the way through so I can actually have a good hold. But it's on tight now. And I played it and it's not, and it's not vibrating or anything. So I'm pretty cool with it. Um, from what I can tell, the sound is a little bit lower to be expected being that a, being this is a four ohm driver and the do, this door speaker is actually a two ohm driver so i kind of expected that but i'm not too worried about it because i'm going to be putting an amp in here um soon anyway and that would take care of any type of issues i have with like lower sound and then i can also wire it parallel to get you know the right load and everything that i want so but no pretty easy i'm gonna go ahead and repeat the other side and when i come back i'm gonna go ahead and tackle that center channel next all right stay tuned so yeah so now we're ready to go ahead and knock out the center channel so it's pretty easy to get to it um i couldn't find anywhere on youtube on where to go to get to it but basically you stick something right here lift it up and lift out these it's like two clips right here in the back and then then it just comes right out just that simple the main thing is though is these clips right here you want to lift though that's why you go to the back and pry it forward and then the rest of it just pop right out so let's go ahead and take this out and see what we're working with Two screws, 15 watts. And this is a four ohm, so we shouldn't notice any difference in sound from here. So let's go ahead and pop it off and let's see we just like that. And we've got the original plug on here. I didn't want to cut it, but it's fine. I could only bought I only bought enough for enough 
a tweeter adapter just for the tweeter, so the two tweeters, so it's fine. And I mean, I cut it in such a way so that I have enough. If I need to rejoin it, I can just rejoin it. Rejoin it. So just want to get it back. It's gonna slide back in. Let's see what we can see. Go and check out and see what we sound like. Of course, I can't let y'all hear. It wouldn't really make a difference anyway because I want a GoPro for one. Number two, found E right. So, but believe me, once I get everything in, um, I definitely. I'm gonna definitely maybe do some sound clips with some quality sound clips with some non copyright music. So, um, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and slide it back in, and there's really not much more to see. So, you know, next we're probably gonna, I'm gonna tackle probably the, the rear speakers, and then after that, we'll probably tackle the head unit. So, I don't know what exactly we're gonna do yet, but anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And comment below man let me know how what you think let me know what i could do better or you know if you got some questions whatever hit me up you know let's talk about it anyway it's your boy mr